Hey guys, it's Dave with Chicago Nerf, and today let's talk about this. All right, guys, so today we have the uh, the Adventure Force Dart Zone, uh, depending on where you get it from, Villainator. Uh, it advertises that it shoots up to 80 feet, that it's got a 40 round super drum. It is slam fire, but it does not mention that. So uh, let's open this up and uh, see what's inside. All right, so let's uh, quickly go over what all comes with uh, the Villainator package. You get the 40 round super drum, you get the uh, 40 darts, you get the blaster itself. It's got a removable stock, and it also has a fall, small uh, flip up sight in the front as well. Uh, foregrip for the pump, and it's got the uh, rear grip. Nice trigger pull. So let's uh, take this thing out to the range and uh, then we'll get it over the chronograph, come back inside for my final thoughts. All right, guys, so we're uh, out here on the range with the uh, Adventure Force Villainator. Uh, we're gonna lay a couple of uh, precision shots down the, uh, down the lane, and then we're gonna go with some, uh, some slam fire. I've got the, uh, the range set up at 40 feet, going all the way down to 90, so we're gonna test those 80-foot range claims and uh, see right where the uh, Villainator actually comes in. We're using the uh, provided Adventure Force waffles as well, so uh, just keep that in mind. All right, so let's. Uh, 10 quote unquote precision shots. So let's see what we can do with some slam fire. All right, so let's uh, go down to the range and see where everybody ended up. All right, so we're at the 40 foot mark. Then we're coming in with two or three, uh, right around uh, probably 48, uh, 47, 49 feet, um, probably from the slam fire. So that's about three of the slam fire. Then we probably about four more from the slam fire, uh, coming in just shy of uh, 60 feet here. And then we've got uh, sort of the rest coming in between 70, 60 and uh, 70 feet for the most part here. Uh, the furthest shot out we've got is just shy of the 75-foot uh, mark, which is the two white dots there, uh, with the uh, 70 being on the cone here. Uh, I will say, though, uh, so nothing, nothing hit the 80-foot mark, uh, which is, you know, fine. 70, 60 to 70 feet is full of engagement, but even with the slam fire, look at how tight that grouping is all down the lane. I mean, it is, it is straight. There's a couple potential outliers, but... That is phenomenal in and of itself. All right, let's go get this over the chronograph and uh, see what numbers come in. All right, so we're out here on the deck with the chronograph. Let's put 10 rounds over it and uh, see where the numbers come in. Six. 86. 92. Nine. One. 69, 9, 89, and 82. So those are the 10 rounds we got. Let's uh, have the average numbers up somewhere around here and uh, let's go inside for the final thoughts and talk about it. All right, guys, so let's go over my uh, final thoughts about the uh, Adventure Force Dart Zone Villainator. Um, first of all, comfort and construction. I find it very comfortable. Both the uh, foregrip and the rear grip are nice in my hands. I've got pretty much medium-sized hands. Um, 
the uh, construction solid for uh, Dart Zone for Adventure Force. Not quite Hasbro, but they're they're creeping up there for sure. Um, the Prime is on par pretty much with like an Alpha Trooper, maybe just a little bit stiffer, but nothing that anybody can handle. This is definitely an all ages blaster for sure. Uh, the trigger pull is super smooth. It's really responsive. It's, it's nice to use. Uh, even on the slam fire, it's kind of nice because uh, you can load it up and then it's on the, the, the return that the, uh, the dart releases. So um, I kind of like that. It's almost like having its own trigger. Even when you're in slam fire, you've got a little bit more ability to aim, uh, which is quite nice. Uh, the stock is definitely the weak point, but that's per usual for not only uh, darts on Adventure Force, but for all of the Dart Zone Blasters, even Hasbro itself, uh, most of the times the stocks are the weak point. So it is what it is. Um, overall, this is a really nice high capacity, uh, reloadable on the fly pump action Springer. Uh, super accurate as we saw outside with the AF waffles. The lane was probably maybe be four feet wide at most and that was at 65 feet. Um, the ranges are right around 65 feet, uh, breaching up to 70, not quite the 80 that's advertised, but you know, 65 is still plenty of engagement range. Um, and the FPS uh, off the test we had was 85.3, as you guys saw previously, uh, but I did a first test actually, but the audio failed on that one. And that actually came in at 93.5 FPS. So realistically, we're somewhere right in the middle, uh, you know, right around 90, which is actually right around rival ranges out of the box. Um, coming in, but it's hitting darts, shooting darts rather. So uh, it's hitting probably a little bit harder, maybe a little bit softer. I'm, you know, but it, it's hitting right at that range, which is pretty incredible. Um, so basically, out of the box, this is an ideal HVZ primary, uh, high capacity, reloadable on the fly. If you've got a couple of these, the drum is hot swappable. Uh, so that's well, if I can do it quickly enough there. Um, so that's kind of nice. You could have an extra drum on you. I don't know if you'd really want to carry uh, more than one or two of those drums with you just because it might get a little uh, cumbersome. But um, overall, for 20 bucks, which in comparison to the Super Drum is 25 um, and you do get 100 darts with the Super Drum. With this, you only get 40. But frankly, with AF Waffles 200 packs sitting on the, on the shelf for $10, um, pick up one of those and one of these for 30. Yeah, you're spending five more bucks, but you're getting way more darts for your money. Um, so at a $20 price point, I say buy this with confidence. Um, highly, highly recommend the uh, Adventure Force Dart Zone uh, Villainator. So that's it. Um, just one thing I wanted to show you guys, which I have a little speculation on. There are these two small tabs right here, which I don't know if you guys can see or not. Uh, I hope you can. Um, but these seem to guide the darts a little bit, but they also don't seem to do anything. If that's the case, I believe with a simple modification and removal of those, this drum, because it has no dart posts, should be able to fire half darts like a dream. Uh, stay tuned for that in another video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, hope to see you guys out uh, on the field soon when we can. Uh, and uh, yeah, keep come back another time. Uh, hit the bell, like, subscribe. Uh, thank you guys. Chicago Nerf.